Hi and welcome back to Siren Crypto. I'm Becky and in this latest video I thought we would go through some more jargon busting. Today I'm going to explain what a bid offer spread or bid ask spread as it's often referred to is and what we need to pay attention to when we're trading or investing. Firstly, here's our disclaimer. This tutorial is for educational and illustrative purposes only. We are not responsible for any investments made applying this information or buying or selling recommendations. Siren Crypto are not licensed investment advisors. We make no recommendations to purchase or sell any kind of coin, option or security. Any investment contains risk and is 100% the responsibility of the investor to assess the risks and rewards involved. Trading the crypto market involves a high degree of risk and you may incur financial losses if you engage in this activity. We at Siren Crypto take no liability, assumed or implied, from your application of the information we share within our training programs. Now this is something that can be quite confusing for new traders, but there's no need to be. All markets have two prices. There's a price you buy at and a price you sell at. The spread, depending on the market, isn't necessarily set. It can vary throughout the day. So first of all, let's just deal with the basics. Let's have a look at some example spreads and where we would be buying and where we would be selling. Let's explore this idea of bid offer. Let's talk about shares first of all. Let's say you look at the closing price of your favourite share. And let's say the closing price on that day was 500. But that's only part of the story because all markets typically have a spread, a bid offer or bid ask spread. So if you want to trade and you look at it in the trading ticket, the price might be quoted something like this. On the left hand side, this is the bid. And over on the right, this is the offer or the ask price. So what this means is the spread, the difference between the price you can sell at and the price you can buy at. So if you want to buy now, you will pay 501. If you want to sell in this example, you will pay 499. Spreads will vary from markets that see a lot of volume, so larger shares, currencies or commodities, they tend to have very tight spreads. But if we're looking at a share, for example, that doesn't trade that much or an obscure currency pair, they will have a wider spread. And the concern to us amongst traders is how much does the market have to move for us to be at break even. So clearly, if we're buying here at 501 and we decide to sell straight away, we're going to have a loss. The market needs to move in this example two points for us to have a break even trade. If we were trading something that, let's say, had a 50 point spread, then it has to move 50 points in our favour for us to break even. But as usual, I think this makes much more sense when we look at it in a real market. So it's really important to understand that typically all markets have a spread. In the old days, it was set by a market maker. These days, it's probably more likely to be set by traders putting their own bids or offers into the electronic trading system. But typically, there is a cost of doing business in the markets, albeit quite small. Well, we're here on three commas and I thought we would look at Bitcoin paired with US dollar tether. You can see there is a sell price and there is a buy price. It's a top coin and it sees lots of volume during the day. So you would normally expect to see a tight spread. And that's what we have. If you are a seller, you are selling around $9,179.97. And if you are a buyer, you are buying at $9,078.67. So the spread typically in this example is around about $1.30 as it sees lots of volume throughout the day. So the cost of doing business in what's known as a liquid market like this, which is referring to how much volume it sees and tends to be fairly low as the spread is tight. This is how spreads work. On high volume markets, we have tighter spreads. And for ones that don't see the same sort of volume, we have slightly wider spreads and the cost of doing business is a bit more. This is one of the reasons that crypto trading on Bitcoin is so popular. You have a decent level of volatility and because as a market it seems millions of dollars moving through every day, the spread is very tight. So it makes it in terms of the cost of doing business a relatively inexpensive market to trade in because the market doesn't have to move that far in your favour to cover the cost of the spread. 
The spreads will change throughout the day. Sometimes if you see less volume, you may see spreads come out. But it's a good rule of thumb to maybe help identify markets that are seeing more volume than others, and which may be more suitable for markets for short-term trading rather than investing. One final thing on spreads, there are occasionally markets with zero spread. So the bid and the offer are exactly the same. So that means trading on one price, whether buying or selling. So hopefully you can see there's not a catch to having spreads in the market. It's just the cost of doing business. For traders, tight spreads tend to be the most attractive. One thing to be aware of is if the market you trade normally has a tiny spread, and then when you look at it, there's been a significant spread change. It could be because the volume is really thin, let's say over the Christmas period, for example. So there may be just a better time to trade. Also, you may not be concerned on a wider spread on something you are planning to hold long term, as you may be expecting the price to go up, let's say 30-40% over the next few months. You just need to be aware of this cost of doing business, and particularly when trading how far the market has to move for you to get into a break-even position. So that's how spreads work. It's just a normal part of trading, and in most markets there's a cost for being involved. I hope that explained it for you. It's simple enough to understand, but for plenty of people who are new to trading, they may wonder why they are seeing two prices. And it's just one you sell at and one you buy at. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you don't miss out on all of our videos by clicking the subscribe button. You'll get notified when our next lesson is uploaded. Well, I'm Becky. Thanks for watching Siren Crypto, and I'll see you on the next video. Happy trading.